All right, now before moving on to example questions in my next videos, I just want to prove, uh, I just want to make sure that the Pythagoras theorem, which my textbook tells me is actually correct, eh? because they say, well, a squared plus b squared equals the c squared, the hypotenuse squared. Yeah? So in a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse squared equals the addition and the sum of the other two lengths squared. Now, because it is such an important rule, because you will encounter it in so many questions from now on, we want to make sure that we truly understand what we're doing and we want to make sure if it's actually true. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So very quickly, and this is not an official proof or anything, um, but it works quite well. Let's have a look. I, I, I prepared here a right angle triangle. Uh, this is a 90 degree angle and hopefully you can see this side is three units long and that side is a one, two, three, four units long. Now to calculate yeah, the length of the hypotenuse, I would do, just on the side, I'll do it here. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now I'm looking for my hypotenuse, so that's my c side. So just put it there. So four squared plus three squared, yeah, equals c squared, 16 plus nine equals c squared. So c would be the square root of 25, and 16 plus nine, which equals five, okay? And indeed, if I would take my ruler and I would measure it, it will be exactly five centimeters, yeah, if I constructed my triangle accurately. Okay, but now very quickly to show you, yeah, four squared, what does that actually mean? Yeah, now this length is four centimeters long. So if I would attach a square to it, can you see that's slightly, well, it's the same color, so hopefully you can see it, but this is a square of four by four, yeah? So four to the power two is actually the square with a length, or sorry, it's the area of a square with length four, yeah? So the area of this square is 16 units squared. Okay, because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 of those little squares. Okay, and I'm going to do the same for my b squared, which is 3 squares. I'm going to attach a little square to that one as well, and that is a square of 3 by 3. So the area of this square is 9 units squared. Yeah? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, and now I say that equals the square, so the area of the square of my hypotenuse. Okay, now if I take this square and I put it here alongside my hypotenuse, and now I take my other square, because if I plus them, if I combine them, I should get the beautiful square of my hypotenuse. Now, I can't just put it there, now I gotta cut it up a little bit, so I, I get my scissors out. And this is one, two, three, four. So really, it should be five long. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut it up. And I'm going to place it here. There we go. Still missing a little box there. So I'm going to, if I don't move it all the time, I'm going to um, cut out one of these boxes here of my three squared. Because I want to show you, you're going to get a perfect five by five square, yeah? So, there we go. So, right now it is a five by four square, but I still have some units left here. So, if I cut it up properly, I indeed, and I hope you can see that on the video, can make exactly a five by five square. So the area of this square, plus the area of that square will always equal the area of that square in a right angle triangle. And then to find the length, which is the hypotenuse, we take the square root to find the length. Because if somebody asks you, well, I have an area of 25 centimeters squared, and it is a square, what is the length of that square? Then you would say, okay, so a square area is 25, so our length is the square root of 25 would be five centimeters, yeah? Same here, if the area of this square plus the area of that square equals the area of that square, then I take the square root 
to find the actual length. I take the square root of that area to find the actual length, which is five. Okay, well, I hope that was useful. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. That's what you have to yeah, remember, I guess. We're talking about right angle triangles. Yeah, we are talking about calculating lengths and we are talking about a hypotenuse, which is the C. Okay, it's time for example questions.